all I do is tell stories. Even as a teacher, that's the frame around which we organize all the lesson plan. Um, I was like, we, you know, I'm going to tell a ghost story. So I told a ghost story. And we, and we just looked back and said, well, what was the, what was the, the main thing about, like, wh why did this part of the ghost story, why was this part of the ghost story here before the thing and then that thing? And they were like, oh, well, but you need to set that up because then there, there's no payoff when, you know, like, and we go, those are rules. Everyone knows about the rules. You know, and like, got a little quiet, you know, then the mood changed right here because the mood needed to change. And I said, you all know how to tell stories. You all responded to the way I was telling the story. It's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as I want to tell a story through movement. No one's talking except with their bodies. So that's how I'm going to tell the story. So I'm making three short films in December. Um, with uh, with solo dancers, um, I'm developing a couple of scripts, uh, story ideas uh, uh, for television and for film. That's the right way to tell that story. It's through a script and and to to tell that story through cinematic image and and moving image. Um, I think I'm hopefully telling a good story here. This is the perfect medium to tell certain kinds of stories. When I was the host for the Winnipeg Comedy Festival, I needed to lay some specific truths down. Those truths came within that form. I was a, I was a host. I was I was the MC, and the MC was allowed to tell certain stories.